So at the time of Jefferson's death, they built the octagonal observatory up here on, on top of Mount Jefferson. Um, that observatory was built by Charles Bonnycastle um, in the 1827 or so. Um, and it was an octagonal observatory to Jefferson's design. It wasn't really used um, by anyone. It, it wasn't deemed as suitable for observations. In 1828, Robert Patterson was hired to be a professor of um, natural philosophy um, with, who had astronomy, um, had a responsibility for teaching astronomy as well as physics. And he found that the, the octagonal observatory here was insufficient for carrying out any kind of useful astronomy. So he got permission from the Board of Visitors to build an observatory on Monroe Hill on the south slopes of Monroe Hill, um, and he completed that in 1830. Uh, that observatory uh, was built to the design of, of Ferdinand Hassler, who in 1825 um, had, a, had a design for a national observatory that he wanted to be, have built in, in Washington, D.C. Um, this was a smaller version of it that was built on Monroe Hill, um, but it housed a number of instruments, a transit telescope to, to watch uh, the transit of stars as they cross the meridian in order to catalog the positions of those stars, um, a sidereal clock, uh, which we still have. Um, that clock was purchased uh, in the late 1820s um, in London um, from Parkinson and Frodsham. It was delivered to Charlottesville uh, when James Madison was the, rec uh, was the rector, and we have, there's a letter in the Library of Congress that uh, describes the clock and uh, uh, instructs the, uh, the uh, um, Arthur Brockenborough to handle it with great care. Um, at that point, it may have been placed in the octagonal observatory or may have actually just been placed in the rotunda. We do know that in 1820, sorry, in 1830, uh, when uh, uh, Robert Patterson's observatory on Monroe Hill was finished, the Sidero clock was located there. At that point, we think the observatory sort of faded a bit. The octagonal observatory was um, neglected, vacant, and the Monroe Hill observatory probably soon followed in becoming a, a vacant building. I think the sidereal clock and other astronomical instruments were probably moved to the rotunda at that time. Uh, we know the, the building survived at least into the 1850s because it still appears on maps then. Um, but it uh, wasn't until, uh, the 18, until about 1880 when McCormick Observatory was built and then the, um, the uh, sidereal clock was moved up from the rotunda um, that a, you know, there was an observatory at the university again. Um, the clock actually survived uh, as the, the earliest piece of scientific apparatus at the university because it was moved out of the rotunda in the 1880s to the observatory, and then the rotunda burned in 1895, destroying all the other early equipment. So the clock is our connection back to the the past to probably the original octagonal observatory here, definitely to um, Robert Patterson's Monroe Hill Observatory.